Welcome to 4OW. Um, today I want to go through these adjustable bag bases we do. Um, I'll start with the concept of what they're about. Um, really what we do, um, this bag base is designed with uh, prone shooting in mind. Um, or they can be used for anything but that's where we designed them from shooting with a bipod in the prone position. What we found was when you're shooting with a bag, you've got your bag set up there and you're trying to squeeze your bag to get your elevation, hold it right, is you end up by using a fair bit of tension in your left arm or your non-shoot, your non-trigger arm um, to actually get your tension right. Sometimes it's good, sometimes it's bad. When you've got more um, difficulty in your shot and you're doing a little bit more trying to hold elevation, you end up where you're putting more focus in, in trying to hold your bag and it can make things a little more awkward. The other detail was designed about was that for the style of shooting that we do, which is keeping your chest off the ground and everything a little more elevated to where you're a little more comfortable, um, is that your bag needs to be up in the air. So then with a smaller bag, you start to get more um, less stable sort of a platform. So we wanted something to give us both, where you actually had a rigid thing to hold the bag up and something that was a little bit, um, it, it give the ability to adjust it onto target. So, what, what we came up with in our first plan of attack was essentially our version one bag base. I uh, went through a few evolutions to get to this place, but this is where it lives, uh, which is simply that. It gives us the ability to adjust, to adjust from its lowest setting to its highest setting. Dimensions are in the description on there of what those adjustments are, but lets you adjust it right up in the air all right down and like I said if you're shooting you're trying to adjust the little tiny increments you can really fine-tune your rifle into the right place. That was the first concept to make it a little bit more adjustable they are all sold with these foams a 10 mil foam for a little bit more elevation and a 20 mil foam which you can also run together to end up with quite a high shooting platform for your bag. But that's our first concept of the bags, of the adjustable bag base, I should say. That's the version one. Like I said, that's its, the dimensions are on there, what it takes. It takes a normal little bag. I should go through that quickly. The bag that we tend to use, that we've always been using, which I just showed you, um, comes in this. Um, it's the Allen front and rear rest or Allen shooting set, or there's different names, and I'll put a link on there to actually find it. These are, this is the bag set that we buy. We only use the front piece, is what we use in this combination, the, this, which is the rear bag, I should say. Um, we only use this one. We don't try and sell it here, although we can do, um, because it is quite a bit bulkier and heavy to ship around the, the world, So, and generally find these are sold all over the world. So that's the base, I'll put a link, the, the bag I should say, I'll put a link on for that, but that's the bag we use. Anyway, that's a, this quick one we're there. The, it'll obviously can operate with any bag at all, um, as long as it'll fit in those dimensions. Next step was making it a little bit wider. Like I said, we're after a little bit more stability and for going higher, make it a little bit wider. So this is the version two. Just simply has, it has rubber feet on the bottom of it, which makes it a little higher. Not too much, but there is a little bit of height there, but basically for more stability made it so you could sit on uneven ground or trying to get it higher up in there and made it more stable. Exactly the same centre plate platform for the bag but it has these three legs on here with some width in the back of the unit. That's the version 2. Version 3. Version 3 we've stepped up to all the stuff in the centre is exactly the same. The difference is we have this knob over here for left and right adjustment. So you not only can adjust yourself up on the target with your front control to get your height right but you can also adjust left and right on the unit so you can actually tweak it once it's all settled in you've got it the place you want you just want to make a little tweak and you don't want to be pushing against your bag you want to just get everything to the right place you can actually tweak it on your left and right adjustment so this unit is about the same height um, it's a tiny bit higher because there's another another mechanism in there but it's very similar it's a bit wider still a bit heavier all those dimensions and weights and things are on the on the website here but this unit does give you a little more stability again for high up shooting um, and has worked really well i've used this for most of our extreme shots what we use and it's really our go-to bag base next level up 
as I said, with all these three, we're using one bag and the, any small bag will fit inside here. We started to get questions about shooting with larger bags. People have F-class bags and that type of thing, have bigger footprints on them um, and more rigid so they don't squish into places, they don't do sort of, that sort of stuff. So what I've designed to cater for that, which allows for a six inch bag base, is the version four. All the same as the version three in its mechanisms, in its left and right and its up and down, the difference is, is that it takes a six inch platform. So it takes a six inch bag in there, fair bit wider, fair bit heavier, so there's a bit more in shipping cost to get it to you, there's a bit more to actually lug around the place, so there's a couple little cons there. The pros to this is it does take the bigger bags, you can run really rigid, strong bags in this system, and being as big and wide as it is, it is a very stable platform to shoot with, with all the adjustability that we talk about in, in any of these units. With this, the version four and the version three, we come with both left and right hand options. So I'll put that lump down and show you on the version three. Um, really, when you're shooting in a right hand side of things, you want to have the knob out of your road where your shooting arm goes. So that's why this is set up at the left hand side for a right hand version. We can do that in the reverse. So if you, there is the choice there, you pick either one for a, for a right hand shooter, you shoot these ones. For the left hand shooter, we put the knob out the other side, so it's just all the other way around. Um, I think that's about a list. We've found the bases very good to shoot with. We're used to most of our ELR shooting. We're really sitting on these things. Um, they really do make it that little bit easier. They take that little bit of a um, inconsistency of squeezing your bag out of the equation. Um, don't actually change anything. It's still designed to shoot properly with its bipod. Everything functions just like a normal bag, but you're not fighting anymore with that hand. So it, more than anything else, it really just simply makes more consistency in your shooting. Um, the one other thing I'd say is that you see these other bits on the bench here. This is not stuff I sell. This is stuff that anyone can make. These are just bits of wood that I've actually made that fit inside the bag base. So I've made them with little notches so that it makes this little piece of wood nice and rigid the way it goes in there. So you can actually set it in there. Makes it for even more rigid rigidity. The foams obviously work. Once you start to get heavier rifles and more rigid setups, then keeping it rigid is a really good idea. This is the type of thing that anyone can make themselves. I haven't bothered to try and turn these into something as a saleable product because it is so easy to, to knock out a bit of wood, cut out some grooves in it, that sort of stuff. I've made them where I've got the adjustability. I put some little dowels on here so that that can actually lock in. And when I'm really trying to get up high and really want a rigid platform is what I've done it with. If enough people asked about it, then it's something we could do. But really, like I said, it's something that, that most people have got the, the ability to go to the, the, the wood shop down the back and, and cut some bits and pieces up. But that's what I've done to make these things that little bit more flexible still, or a little bit more rigid, I should say, um, still. So last bit I'd say with all this sort of stuff is that these are um, our own built products. We build them here. So every time you're buying one of these adjustable bag bases, you're supporting us, but it's also you're working with stuff that both me and Sam's hands are the people that have built these things. So that we're very proud of them. And um, like I said, happy to ship them all over the world. Anyway, I hope that was informative for you.